Hey guys, uh, welcome back to Trucking Topics here on YouTube. My name is Tony, and today we're going to show you how to change a cab airbag. As you can see, as you can see uh, there, <clears throat> let me see, where's my finger? There it is, right there. I have a, a cab airbag that is deflated. It is leaking. Um, I opted not to blow it back up to show you that it was leaking, it was obvious. Um, but let me show you how easy this is to change. Let's go do this. Okay, so these are the only tools we need. We need a jack and we need a screwdriver. There's the good airbag and really I should be replacing both but I only have time to do the bad one today. Here's the bad one. So we're gonna show you how to do this. And I wanna show you the bottom here. Let me get my finger out of the way. So the bottom there, you see some clips. This is what we're gonna use the screwdriver for. So right there is a clip. And what we do is we push that in, which releases the airbag. That clip is actually keeping the airbag from jumping out of that hole, okay? Because uh, this is the end of the airbag right here. And this clip just needs to be pushed in and then the airbag can be brought up, okay? But before we do that, we're going to take this jack and we are going to putting my finger in the wrong way there on the camera so get the jack there and then we're not going to jack it up but we're just going to keep it from falling and I may decide I need to get the tool and and crank that up just a little bit but we'll see okay so that's the first step and the second step is for me to go under and push the clip in with the screwdriver that I just showed you and uh, I also need to release the airline. So let me put this camera down, get reset up, and I'll show you how to do that stuff. Okay, one thing I wanted to explain real quick is what I actually decided to do after I uh, did that last little video piece was to go ahead and air the truck back up. And when I aired the truck back up, then the cab, sleeper cab, raised up a little bit and maybe about uh, maybe a half inch maybe maybe not even that far about a half inch I guess and <coughs> excuse me so then once I had the air the, the the truck aired up I went ahead and adjusted the jack so I adjusted the jack about halfway up or or that half inch up that the cab moved up because of the air and then what I did was is I gave it a couple of cranks um, to raise it even a little bit further until I heard the air escaping out of the um, leveler, okay? And uh, so that gave me about another half inch um, and you can see the different positioning of the airbag. It's, it's more extended, it gives me more room. So now we're gonna go under the truck and I'm gonna show you how to get this out of here. Oh, okay, and, and actually, even before I do that, let me show you this. You can take it out from the top, but at this point, I haven't taken the airline out of the bottom yet, but um, you can take it out of the top, and the way you do that is you put the screwdriver in here, pull up, see how, that, see how easily that comes out? So that might be better than you getting out from underneath the truck. The only question is, okay, so see, now the airbag comes out, still got the airline on it, but I still wanna get underneath and show you what I'm talking about and how to release it from the bottom if you need to. Okay, so hold on just a sec. Let me get repositioned. Okay, you guys, here we are at the bottom looking up, okay? So ideally, the first thing you wanna do is to release the airline, all right? So you get up and you guys know that in case you don't, that there's a little flange 
that's right up against the air hose there, okay? So you get a screwdriver, you push that flange in, which will release the tension on the airline, okay? And then at that point, you can just pull the airline out, all right? Now, here, there's two different ways that you can do this to take this out, and let me show you that. Okay, the first way is to use a screwdriver, like I said earlier, and go up to this clip, press the clip in, and then you can just push up on this end. Okay, so try to let me do this for you. I'm gonna press that in. Once that's in, I should be able to just push this out of the hole. See that? See how that pushed out of the hole? We're good. All right, let's get back up top. All right, there we go. Now it's just a matter of pulling it out and then pull out the top. That's it. Here is what our new airbag looks like. I'm gonna put it in the same way. Air to the bottom. This goes into the top. Uh, this is gonna be a little bit more difficult to put in because as you can see, there's a height difference. So we just have to push in on it a little bit more, but it'll go in. So let's, uh, let's get this into position and then uh, get it pushed in. Yeah, I have a different perspective here for you real quick. What I wanted to show you was how we're gonna put this in. You're always gonna put the top in first and then you're gonna wiggle in the bottom, okay? So I wanted to show you though, simply put the top into that hole and then we're gonna wiggle around the bottom and stick it into there. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go under the truck and simply reconnect the airline and then we're done. Okay, one of the things I want to show you is when you're putting this in to make it easier on you the next time, remember the clips, right? Here's a clip, here's a clip. These are the clips that we released um, to get the airbag to come out from the bottom of this hole. These clips keep the airbag secure so that it doesn't pop out. Now, <clears throat> to make it easier on you, when you go to replace this thing, put these clips so that they're sideways this way instead of this way because when they're sideways this way they're going to be a lot easier for you to get a get to and um, depress when you go to change this again or a lot easier for you to get the channel locks in there okay so i'm going to put the clips across like this i'm just going to position it remember we're going to put this in the top first get in the way let's just see where the hole is at bend it a little bit see how that popped in there now it's, this is the hard part it's not really that hard but I mean you do have to work at it let's see how long it takes me but I'm not at a very good angle here I tell you what I'm gonna stop the video I'm gonna get this popped in, in case it takes me a minute and then we'll show you what it looks like. But basically, I'm just gonna take this, I'm gonna push it up, bring it in here, and drop it in through that hole. Okay, now that I have the angle correct, I wanted to show you how I drop it in. So what I was trying to do was do it like this with the front of the airbag pushed out and to get it in, I couldn't get any clearance here. So all I did was push the airbag towards the back Get your clearance. See how now I'm clear of the plate? Get your clearance. Be careful of your air fitting. Work it back. Make sure this stays there. And then it's, it's gonna drop right in once it starts airing up. 
There we go. It's in. The only thing I have to do now is connect my air. You guys know if you or if you don't, all you do, put your airline in, press up, and it will automatically lock into place. You might even hear that little uh, sound of it clicking, okay? I'm gonna replace my plastic protective covering here. And basically we're done. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start the truck back up. You may not need to do this. Okay, I, <coughs> excuse me. I opted to not um, clamp the airline um, when I took the airline out of the um, bag. Um, if I had clamped the airline, then air would have stayed in the system and would have stayed aired up. <clears throat> and this could have been a, just a little bit simpler for me. But now what it does by me not having done that is I have to air the system up um, so that when I lower the jack real slow, um, the air will go in and refill the bag. And I wanna refill it at my rate, not at the truck rate, okay? So um, now we're going to go ahead and just start the truck up and I'm going to let it air up and then we're going to lower the cab via the jack. And I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so the truck is fully aired up now and you might be wondering why the airbag has not inflated. The simple reason is because the leveler valve, which is located here, this assembly right there, that, uh, excuse me, wrong, um, I'm trying, I'm having a hard time, there we go. That item right there, uh, that's a leveler valve. That is sensing that the cab, which is correct right now, is inflated and the bag does not need air. So now what we're going to do is we're going to lower the jack, which is gonna lower the sleeper cab which is going to tell the, and the leveler, leveler valve is gonna sense this movement and then say, oh, we need some air to suspend the sleeper cab. Now, when you do this, you wanna do it slow. Do you hear that? Look at the bag. We're just gonna let it inflate really slow. I might even take a little bit off. That's normal. Once that happens, you're good. And that, my friends, is how you change a cab airbag. So, uh, any questions, just please comment below, or the best thing to do is to email me at uh, tony at encoretrucks.com, E-N-C-O-R-E trucks.com. I appreciate you watching. I hope you learned something from this. Please consider subscribing and liking this video. Um, I've got uh, five videos in the pipeline coming up on different subjects. So uh, if you hit that bell to be notified of my videos when I drop them, um, that'd be great. And uh, hey guys, until next time, I really, really, really do appreciate you uh, watching. And we'll talk to you again. Be safe out there, everybody.